language grade two unit one my day telling the time prepared by teacher Ken okay before we proceed I prepared some vocabulary words for you to learn. Are you ready? Okay. I want you to repeat after me. Let's start. Vocabulary. Again, vocabulary. Our first vocabulary words is boy. Everybody, boy. B O Y boy. And our next vocabulary words is ten. Everybody, ten. T E N ten. Third is it. Again, it. E A T it. Next is teeth. Again, teeth. T E E T H. Teeth. Next is table. Everybody, table. T A B L E. Table. Okay, before we proceed to our discussion, let's have a quick review about simple present tense. Spelling rules, third person. For regular verbs, add S to the base form of the verb. So, for example, sit, sits. We add S. Next, for verbs ending in Y, change the Y to I and add ES. For example, cry. Cries, we add ES. And third one is for verbs ending in S, Z, C, H, S, H, X, and O, add ES to the base form of the verb. For example, watch, watches, we add ES. So I want you to look at the pictures. First person, the subject is I and we. Second person, the subject is you. And the third person, the subject is are, he, she, it, and they. Okay, now our topic is telling the time. I will teach you how to tell the time and later on we will apply the simple present third person. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, now I want you to look at the picture. What can you see? It's a clock. Okay, everybody, let's read analog clock. This is an analog face or analog clock face. Everybody, let's read. The numbers round the clock face are hours. There are 12 hours marked on the clock. Okay, how many hours? There are 12 hours. Again, I want you to look at the picture. Everybody, let's read. The red small hand points to the hours okay look at the red small hand it means it points to the hours next the pink big hand points to the minutes okay look at the arrow or the pink big hand it points to the minutes everybody let's read when the big hand points 12 the time is o'clock Okay, the red small hand points to the 
hours and the pink big hand points to the minutes. Okay, I want you to look at the pictures. I mean picture because it's only one. And look at the arrow. Okay, everybody let's read. The lines around the edge are minutes. There are 60 minutes marked on the clock. How many minutes? 60. Very good. And this is because there are 60 minutes in one hour. How many minutes again? There are 60 minutes in one hour. Okay, let's check if you already know how to tell the time and I prepared some questions and I want you to answer me using the simple present tense third person. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. I want you to look at the pictures. What can you see? It's a clock and a boy who just woke up. Okay, the first question is what time does he get up? Instead of do, we use does for the third person. Okay, again, what time does he get up? What time? Okay, answer me completely. He gets up 7 a.m. He is the subject for third person. Get is the verb. We add S and it becomes Gets. Okay, very good. Your answer is correct. Oh, everybody, I want you to clap your hands. Okay, another example. Look at the pictures. It's a girl and a clock. Again, I want you to tell me the time and use the third person. Everybody, let's read. What time does she eat her breakfast? Instead of do, we use does for the third person. Okay, what is the answer? Look at the clock. What time is it? She eats her breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Is it 7.30? Okay, we use she because she is for a girl and she is for third person person and it is a verb and we add s very good everybody clap your hands again okay another example look at the picture it's a boy going to school and a clock same process what time does he go to school what time does he go to school does for third person. Okay, look at the picture. What time is it? He goes to school at 8 a.m. He is the third person. Instead of go, we use goes for third person. Okay, understand? Understand? Okay, very good. Easy, not easy? Very easy. So now, it's time for a quiz. Let's check if you really know how to tell the time and if you know how to use the simple present tense third person. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Answer the questions. Number one, let's read the question. What time does he go to bed? Remember, instead of do, we use does for third person. Okay, look at the clock. Okay, finish. Number two. Everybody, let's read question number two. What time does he eat breakfast? Okay, look at the clock. Look at the clock. Answer the questions. Ok, 
Okay, let's read question number three. What time does she eat lunch? Okay, look at the clock. Now let's move to number four. Everybody, let's read. What time does he go to school? Okay, look at picture number four. Look at the clock number four. Okay, now look at your answers if they are all correct. Number one, he goes to sleep at 8 p.m. The time is 8 p.m. Remember, we use goes if we use the third person. Number two, he eats her breakfast at 9.30 a.m. What time does she eat her breakfast? 9.30. And we use... The third person and the verb here is it. We add S. Number three, she eats her lunch at 12 noon. Number four, he goes to school at 9 a.m. Did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. Everybody clap your hands. Now, I hope... You already know how to tell the time and how to use the simple present tense third person. It's very easy. Isn't it easy? Okay, very easy. Thank you for watching. I hope you